हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू वन मोर इंटरव्यू आई एम योर होस्ट डॉक्टर उमर फारूक खान आई एम प्रैक्टिसिंग इन पुणे टुडे आवर गेस्ट इज डॉक्टर ओली ग्रेंडॉल सर इज फ्रॉम जर्मनी एंड इन इन्वेंटर ऑफ अ वेरी ग्रेट प्रोडक्ट और साइंस यू कैन कॉल इज अ मैट्रिक्स इज दमस्ट थेरापी and he has come up with this one more book on matrix concept uh, there are few things which uh, change your life and i will say matrix isomers therapy is one of the such thing which has changed my life also and many of my patients life so welcome you sir uh, sir so this is your fourth journey towards india in to pune yes to yes, pune, yes. Uh, i think it's uh, now the seventh eighth time seventh eighth time yes, 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 and yes. you are and yesterday only we celebrated 10 year of matrix isomers therapy in india in india yes 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 uh, sir so can you describe uh, uh, about uh, what is your this uh, science or matrix isomers therapy how you started the journey and uh, how you discover this science well this is as you said it is the um, outcome of um, many years of of uh, science um, and what is science at the end it's just observation of nature so i will go back uh, when i started um, in the uh, 19 uh, 19s in the department of maxillofacial surgery in uh, at the university of erlangen we had a lot of cases of cancer cancer patients here many uh, patients having pain and of course we had all the tools from university operation uh, graduation and chemotherapy but at the end you know patients were dying we failed somehow so um and it was not nice to see you try the best uh, every day and at the end is people are dying or mm. you cannot uh, uh, deal with the uh, with the patient with the uh, pain because uh, even using all the drugs you know mm -hmm. and so i really went a little bit back and asked what i am doing so of course the other step would be you can say i have the right treatments and the wrong patients this is the one side and then you continue 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 as your boss does and everybody does or as a young assistant i said i cannot work like this all my life either i have to change again my job i did it already i was before dental technician and i was inside the biomechanics and now i saw again that i'm coming to a certain limit and so i asked what is cancer and so what is the first proliferation of a cell we know that every cell uh, the whole body is proliferating every day but it does it very regular it's renewing all the time uh, during the whole life and uh, why uh, from a certain point the cells do it unregularly and we say this is a, is a cancer so my only question was what is stopping proliferation and what is increasing proliferation proliferation so that on the one side i could when you have a non healing wound you you want to increase the proliferation in a correct way but if you have cancer as cell you want to stop it and you you want to kill specifically the cancer cells so i went really down to the cell biology and, and not by counting the receptors and these and the molecules just seeing the whole um, system you know mm -hmm. and so i analyzed many cells of the body the squamous cells first then i went to the bone cells to the liver cells and of course in the, um, the observation was that uh, clinically we need microcirculation activation and so who is responsible for the microcirculation of one side it is the heart but we forget the skeletal muscle system that is that is the second part because the muscle is shivering we took uh, when we observed the muscle cells in the dish we saw that the muscles were already shivering in the dish and so and um, where we see it also microscopically in the body when we have a basic tremor mm. so you have from the from the micro area to the macro area one principle it is the rhythm and then i came to the rhythm and i saw of course when there is no rhythm anymore in the body everybody is dead, dead. so a life without rhythm doesn't exist mm -hmm. and where do these rhythms come from from physiological processes so you have a correlation between rhythm and process so you need somehow the metabolism that is the nutrition for the cell and how do you get nutrition you need open vessels open vessels and okay. so that means now by the observation i i i went to physiotherapy because they are dealing with electrical magnetical mechanical vibrations and i tried to find some logic behind i haven't found it till now 
to be mm -hmm. honest. I don't know what kind of frequencies they use in the sympathetic uh, uh, side, on the other side, on the parasympathetic side. It's just a random, a random mixture of frequencies. And all these hints, you know, I put together and I saw that uh, the whole body is a cohere in a coherent state. It's not randomly because the pulsations we have here in Bata Pitta Kapha, you have it's in Ayurvedic mm -hmm. medicine yes. as a diagnostic system even, and all the, the Chinese use it, but in the Western medicine you don't no, have it. Too. So the rhythms have a very important uh, role um, in, in, in medicine, also in cardiology, and when you measure today the heart rate variability, you also find it. Uh, but in treatments, you know, we don't use it so much, the, the rhythm. You have the vibrational uh, massage, but n nobody cares uh, what really happens on the cellular level. And is this a different uh, if you compare other rhythms, you know. And so I analyzed from a certain point um, just what is the music played by the body. Mm. And um, then I saw that in physiotherapy no machine did what I wanted. That means a rhythmic micro-extension because when the muscle is suffering, it contracts. And why applying electrotherapy that contracts when the muscle is already contracted? Okay. Okay. Yes. So more and more I saw that um, I, I just reached the opposite that I wanted to have. I need extension, not contraction. And in those times I, I worked very much with, with uh, magnetic field therapies. Um, but I had the problem that on one side in those times the mobiles came on the market and the one were shouting uh, that um, just the, uh, the, the, the magnetic fields produce cancer and on the other side I used su such devices for treatment. What does what? You know, it's the same physics. So I came more and more to the point that healing means to synchronize derailed uh, rhythms and knowing that according to each rhythm you have a process behind. Yes. So through this you came to know about the eight, the rhythm lies between the frequency of 8 to 12 hertz. So this was a little later. First, by analyzing the rhythms, heart rhythm, brain rhythm, breathing rhythm and so on, we have tools to measure these rhythms. And then I saw that in extreme situation, a human body is shivering. When you have an autostatic collapse, you fall on the floor and you start, start shivering. When you have a weight in your hand and you lift it and it's too heavy, you, you start shivering. The next is when, when uh, you get fever, you are shivering. That means the shivering is always, um, um, I will say, um, a synchronization of the skeletal muscle system. And the question was, is it just an engine, like an engine noise, or does it have really a physiological meaning? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, using the microscope here on the fingernails, you can see that you have in the capillaries here uh, an acceleration when you start shivering. And so it was clear, and this is also written in the books, we are talking about the muscle pump. And then the only question was, is this uh, shivering, is it um, very um, random, does everybody has his own biorhythm, as we say, or is it, uh, is it just a common rhythm? And so we made doctoral thesis, we put shear mode on the muscle, and in different states, you know, and then we saw that we got, get always um, a synchronization in the range 8 to 12 hertz, yeah. and also the amplitude is rising. And yeah. later, it was astonishing for us. Mm -hmm. and, but then it was clear I need a device that is just synchronizing uh, because in this, in this range of motion, in this range of, of frequency, I get a maximum of circulation in the physiological sense. Okay. So that, that means I just copied nature. This machine is copying nature. nature. So we use all the construction of the vessels with the, with the valves and all these things and we just increase, it's like a crank handle, you know, okay. like a crank handle is the, is the uh, flow there, it, yeah, it has no side effect, but if there is a sticky area you just open it by metabolism and this is important to get metabolism because in, in former times when we just use magnetical field devices sometimes we got a little change but at the end I saw that we need the metabolism that we, we need really the, the metabolism around the cells be activated to bring at the end um, the glucose and all the stuff, the, fatty, the fat and so, to the cell, you know, that, that means when you have a suffering tissue, you need at the end always ATP 
uh, because this is lacking because of lack of circulation mostly. So uh, we can use in which conditions like this is helpful, uh, the matrix yes. hemotherapy is helpful in most of conditions? So, 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 and, and now the question is what is disease? It's a derailment of a process and of course has to do with microcirculation. Okay. That means uh, every disease where you can just, you have a symptom and then you have to ask how does the symptom correlate to microcirculation and if there is not enough microcirculation, it, you can treat now all the symptoms that are correlated to microcirculation problems and these are the most. Most. These are the most. most mean, yes. yes. Even for non-healing, muscle spasm, yes. pain, yes. The stiffness. Exactly. That means we have macroscopically the symptoms, but the root cause is on the cellular level. That means the cell never produces diseases. The cell always tries to do its optimum hmm. according to the condition of the environment. Yeah, right. And the environment is the extracellular matrix. Extracellular yes. matrix. Yes. yes. It's, a, it's just the ma matrix means mother. That is the, the space yeah. around the cell. And so if this is not optimal, you get an adaptation of the cell. And we say from outside, this is now a disease or a symptom. Yes. In order to understand more fully what goes on in the body, imagine a cell in the body like a fish in an aquarium. Now, using this example, cut off the oxygen supply to the aquarium, stop the exchange of water, and in the end pour in some harmful substance. How long do you believe a fish would survive in this sewer? How long would a cell survive in such a matrix? And this is a machine that takes the blockages out by stimulating the micro microcirculation. That means we are stimulating always the healer within. within. Okay. There is no healing possible uh, from outside. It's only possible from inside by taking blockages out. And this is the new, uh, the new view in medicine, I will say. In uh, physiotherapy, we generally give uh, any machine for a select time duration, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So is there any time duration for this machine also or you have to just uh, follow the track? So, so you just apply it um, and then you feel the tissue is elastic, then you have finished. Okay. So that means it's a, like a starter in the engine. How many turns do you need to start an engine depending how long it was not working? Is it cold engine, warm engine and so on? So the time is individual. We say we should take one hour because uh, the, the symptom is just the tip of the iceberg. We have to go to further, to further areas, especially we go to the sympathetic trunk. That means the, the nerve system that is for the afferences and afferences very important. So we balance first the system from the sympathetic parasympathetic mm -hmm. way. And then of course we go to the local areas. So before giving any local area, you should cover the sympathetic parasympathetic system. This, this makes very much sense because this is the basic, the basic sympathetic load. For example, also diabetic ulcers. We are made, making now a very nice study here, a multicentric study in India uh, with some universities and also uh, in, in Europe. They are combining. We have and uh, the the criteria is just uh, open wound and closed wound. You know, very visible for everybody. Of course, we have blood parameters, parameters and so on, so that we avoid the amputation at the end. So the any any uh, contraindications or any side effects of this therapy? Not, not really. You know, you can, you can use this machine also 24 hours, one month, you know, because you are in this basic shivering rhythm, you, you decrease more and more the system because the body becomes more and more elastic. So an elastic body is a healthy body. You know? okay. And when the body is elastic, then of course you get the full range of motion, then you get the full flexibility. Okay, thank you so much, sir, for sharing such a, uh, good knowledge and innovating a really worth uh, mach uh, machine. I won't say the machine is a science, basically, and it's really helping lots of my patients and lots of many patients in India. Thank you so much for giving us time. Thank you so much. I thank you very much for your interest. So, yeah. This is it uh, for today. Uh, please like, subscribe and share and we'll see you in the next interview. Thank you so much.